but I'm delighted to hear that Kevin's already had such positive results with Power Tea in place in his facility up in Canada. I'm from the UK, as you know, I've actually played on it uh, various times growing up, and it's a successful product that's already implemented in several commercial driving ranges um, back in the United kin Kingdom. Over here uh, in the States, you're trying to launch this concept now to golf clubs, range facilities. Just explain to us a bit about what you're hoping to achieve. Thanks, Cara. Yeah, in, in the UK, we, we've actually automated about 60% of commercial driving ranges. Um, wow. Which is, to, to transform a, an industry like that is, really is the stamp of how good the product is for everybody. Um, it really, there really are no negatives to the, to the product. We've, we've come to America, um, the economy struggled, golf has struggled. Uh, we feel now the timing is very good. We're speaking to a lot of range owners. They're seeing growth in their businesses naturally. Mm -hmm. So we think it's a really good time to bring power tea to these people and help them grow their businesses. Have you had objections from anyone in the industry over here so far? There, there, there are always, there's always a short-term skepticism to anything new. Mm -hmm. And automation is certainly not new. There are patents dating back to 1905 for automated golf tees. It's a very simple and obvious idea. Anyone who's wrestled with the game of golf has fr been frustrated by mm. this ability of having to tee the golf ball. I think you mentioned yourself that you you, yeah. know, you get very used to it very quickly. Yeah. Um, so, and that's transferred into about 3,500 patents for automated golf tees. Um, what Power Tee has done over the 20 years that we've been working with the range industry is developed a very reliable and robust product with a very reliable and robust business model. So it's absolutely critical that the machines work. Uh, that might sound like a very simple statement, but mm -hmm. these machines take a tremendous amount of punishment. You've got amateur golfers <laughs> who imagine. by their nature don't know how to swing a golf club and they're wailing away on the machine for anything up to 10 hours a day at a busy facility, mm -hmm. such as the world of golf where you, you use Bauti. Uh, and if your business model, your technology, your understanding of your customer's environment, if all of those things are not absolutely brilliant, you don't have a business. And so all of those historic attempts that have come and gone um, have fallen at one hurdle or another through maybe stubbornness or, or whatever. We've, we've stuck with it and we've, we've learned our trade. And as a result, we now tee up about 6 million golf balls a day. The party's probably teed up 100,000 balls since we started chatting. <laughs> I, for one, have learned that there's so many advantages to, to a concept like this in golf that can hopefully only help to improve all of our golf games. Well, you down the further end probably need as far little help than I do, but it's been very beneficial. Thank you for joining us and thank you for explaining the advantages of parity.